Hi guys, welcome back to episode 7 of Geography Explained Online. Today we're going to be doing a skill which you may not have seen in junior geography, but is really important for your HSC. So today's skill is ternary graphs. Ternary graphs, like she said, are not going to be something you've seen a lot of in the past, but they're pretty easy to work out. It's just the way that we can plot three different variables on a single graph. Quite often this is used to show different types of employment and industry, and by using that data we can break down the type of country that you're looking at, whether it's developing, emergent or developed. We're going to show you two different ways to do this today, and whichever one you like is the one you can choose to use for your HSC. Okay guys, so we're here with an example of a ternary graph. And what you can see is when we want to do three different variables, we use a triangle because it has three sides. With industries, we're going to look at primary, secondary and tertiary. In this example, we've got secondary here, primary and tertiary. These can go on any of these axes as long as they're labelled. So we're going to show you an example of how we would find out the industry breakdown for this red dot. We're going to pretend this red dot is a country and this is how we would find out its breakdown. The first thing I do when I teach ternary graphs is to make sure that we always start on this side here. Always start on this side because it's the easiest side and we just draw a line straight across. So you can see here, 40% of this particular country are in the secondary sector. This means they work in things turning raw goods into materials. So things like manufacturing, working in factories and so on. Then I come over to this next side, I always work in an anti-clockwise direction and we come here and when we get here you'll notice there's only two options you can go across or you can go down on this angle here it can't go across because we've already done that we only go each direction one time every time should be a new direction so the only option left is to go along these lines here so what we're going to do is start at our dot use those lines and we're going to draw up to again 20 percent so in this particular country 20% of people work in the primary sector. This means working with raw goods, whether that's mining or agriculture. Last option, again, working in an anti-clockwise direction. We come down here to tertiary, and there's two directions that you can go. You can go that way or the opposite way. However, we've already gone this direction. We've already gone this way here, so we don't want to go the same direction again. We want to go in this new direction here. So we find our dot and we draw down in this direction. And in this example here, 40% of the country work in the tertiary sector. And we always want to leave, or when we finish, we always want to have this shape. One good way to know you've made a mistake on a tertiary graph is if you were to draw up this way, for example, from tertiary, you're left with this straight line. You never want a straight line all the way through. You want to go, be going on these three different angles, these three different directions. The other thing we can do to check that we've got the right answer is add them up. So we've got 40% here, 20% here, which takes us to 60. 40% here takes us to 100%. It always has to be 100%. If you're getting anything less than 100%, you just need to try again. Okay guys, so that way uh, works really well. Um, but some people still have a little bit of trouble with going the you know the, the angle from, from down the bottom line here and the angle from the side, and do I go this way or do I go that way? So I've worked out, actually me and Bonnie Tyler collaborated to come up with a different way. And this is the way I've taught this skill for the last few years and it seems to have had a lot of success in the past. So as Samantha said, if you start from the right hand side over here, this is always the easiest side to go from because you're going from the right hand side and all you have to do is go directly across, horizontally across, right? So our secondary sector, I've got a dot here that represents another country and the, the breakdown of the industry in that country. So if we go, we start from the right hand side and go horizontally across, we can see that this is just above the 10% line. Here, so that would be approximately 12%, right? Nice and easy, right? So we've got 12% there, easy. Now, rather than going, okay, now I swap and go a different line, I go from a different line here, this is what I do instead. I invoke Bonnie Tyler. You can see I've just rotated it. So now my tertiary sector is on the right hand side, zero at the bottom, the tip of the triangle is 100. So now I just have to do the exact same thing again. Here's my dot, same dot as before, and now we're going horizontally across. This is right on the 20 line. So we've got 12% over here, and we've got 20% now over here. So only one more thing to do, Bonnie. Now 
Now, once again, I have 12, I have 20, and we only need one more. Now, before you even actually do this, because I've got two, there really only can be one answer, right? I got 12 here, I got 20 here, they add up to 32. Therefore, I pretty much, if I'd find anything else other than 68, I must have made a mistake somewhere because as Samantha said, they always have to add up to 100. So we can check ourselves here. 60, 70, this is obviously right there, just below the 70 line, so this is 68. Again, I've just done the same thing three times in a row. I've gone from the right-hand side horizontally across, from the right-hand side horizontally across, from the right-hand side horizontally across. And I can see that my breakdown, a secondary is 12%, tertiary is 20%, and primary is 68%. Okay, guys, so what we're going to show you how to do now is actually plot points on a ternary graph. And we're going to pick two in particular. So I'm going to show you how to do the first country here, which is USA. And it's a great example of a developed country because it has a typical breakdown of what we find in a developed country. High tertiary employment in services and then lower secondary in manufacturing and really low primary, primary industry. So what we need to do first of all is plot these points uh, onto our ternary and we're gonna start always with this side here. So this side on this particular one is the secondary sector. So looking here, it's at 21%. So remember this side here, we always work across the page. So 20% is just here, 30% is up here. So the line we're gonna draw is gonna be just above 20. And what I tell students to always do is to draw the line all the way across. And I'll show you why this makes sense in a little while. The next thing we're gonna do, moving in an anti-clockwise position, we've got our primary sector next. In this example down here, the primary sector is only 2%, it's really small. They don't have a large agricultural industry. So here we're looking, we've got two options. We can go across, or we can go down this direction. We've already gone across. So we're not gonna take the across option. We're gonna go down this way, but we need to find 2%. So we've got zero here, we've got 10% here. So two would be, again, close to the zero. And we're gonna draw the line, like last time, all the way down the page. Last option, again, anti-clockwise. Get to the bottom, we've got tertiary industry. Looking here, tertiary industry, very, very high, a lot of people employed in services, and it's at 77%. Now, looking again, we've got two options. We can go this direction, we can go this direction. We've already gone along these lines here. So we need to not do that again. Can't do it twice. We need to use the only line left, which are these lines here. We've got 70%, we've got 80%. So we need to find 77, which would be about here. And again, we're gonna rule all the way through. The reason we rule all the way through is because what we should get, if everything's gone to plan, is a point where all three lines meet. If, for example, I made a mistake and I drew this line over here, you'd end up with this weird triangle. You wouldn't have a meeting point of all three lines. And then you'd know you need to do it again. So it's a really good skill because we have lots of options to make sure we've done the right thing. Thank you very much, Samantha. So that's uh, one method. So now we're gonna use the Bonnie Tyler method, the total eclipse of the ternary graph method, to work out our breakdown of China. As you can see down here, China is a very different type of economy than the United States. It's an emergent economy. It used to be a developing country, now is becoming industrialized very, very quickly. We can see the, diff the big difference here is in primary industry. China is uh, much more into the, into the primary industry, the, the manufacture of primary goods, um, coal and all that sort of stuff, than, than the United States is. Secondary industry is very similar, but the tertiary industry, the service industry, service industry, people doing services for people, much, much lower. And this is very indicative of uh, developed economies have big tertiary sectors. Australia is very much the same. And the less developed the country, generally the lower the tertiary sector. So how do we do that? We're gonna start with secondary sector over here because we always start at the right-hand side and go horizontally across using the Bonnie Tyler method. Uh, so we see here we've got 25% uh, in the secondary industry. So here's 20, here's 30. So 25 generally is right in between. So we are right about there, okay? So we're going right across for the 25. Now, what do we do? We turn around. Now we've got the tertiary sector. As we can see here, tertiary sector is 32%. So 
We turn around and again, it's just as easy as going right hand side horizontally across. We're always going horizontally. So 32 was where we needed to be. Here's 30, here's 40. Bottom of the triangle is always zero. Top of the triangle is always 100. So we go 32 being there and we draw another line. Okay, very good. So we've got our two lines now. Once again, we rotate it. What number are we looking for here? Uh, primary sector is going to be 43. So we rotate it one more time around. So primary sector is now on the right hand side, 100 at the top, zero at the bottom. And we just need to find 43. There it is. And you can see, actually, going straight across, it always it already indicates where we need to be because as Sammy said before, we have to intersect both of those lines at the same time. You can't do somewhere else where you end up with a triangle. So 43, this is a good way to check whether you've got it right. 43, the last of the three variables, should already be exactly where the first two lines are intersecting. And we know we've done it right because when we draw a line right there, it's the 43 that we needed it to be. And once again, 43 plus 25 plus 32 equals 100. And we've got the exact point where China would be on our ternary graph. Thanks guys for watching and make sure you just do lots of practice of that skill. Go see your geography teacher, ask for some blank ternary graphs and just plot all the data until you know it off by heart. Like I said, fun skill, pretty easy and you get to sing Bonnie Tyler to yourself pretty much the whole time. So it's a lot of fun there. Um, please make sure you follow us next week. We'll have another skill that you can use both in junior and senior geo. Um, so that we'll post that next Wednesday. Make sure you like and subscribe here on YouTube, but also check out our Instagram, Geography Explained Online, and we have a few shout outs to do. Uh, first up, thanks to Ryan Hemsworth once again for his uh, intro and outro music, really helping the video there. And thank you to Amelia uh, being our digital social media advisor and making our thumbnails. Absolute legends, both of them. So make sure you see us next week and like and subscribe all the things. <laughs> I've had three hours Sammy's sleep. Sammy's winning. I had three hours sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how do you do it now? Blue triangle. Okay. So you go from you the G, you go from the G to the E. Delete this. <laughs> <laughs>